What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Today I have an amazing power leveling trick for you. In this Core Keeper video I'm going to show you how you can power level your melee fully AFK. AFK which stands for away from keyboard. That's right. You can totally walk away from your keyboard and let your character punch his way up to 100 melee skills. So let's get started. Alright, first I'm going to show you my Twitch character, so I can walk you uh, around, show you the setup. My Twitch character actually has reached uh, 100 on his um, on his melee skill and range and vitality. Okay, so here I have a setup. Oops, let me put this back here so I can get out. So I have this setup, which is the slime factory that I created. And I actually used this particular setup to generate a ton of uh, slime mobs that I was uh, power leveling my melee and my range. Okay, and this is this is a little setup that you can do with uh, slime ground tiles and uh, the conveyor belt. Now these these particular mobs here can only be acquired after you've beaten the three core bosses. So it's not an early um, it's not an early uh, resource that, that new players uh, have access to. So you're, you're gonna have to get into the Scarlet Biome uh, Scarlet Wilderness, or the Aesius Wilderness to to get some of the slime tiles to make this work and then also get Scarlet Ores uh, to craft the um, Scarlet bars to make these conveyor rails. Okay, so this is what my um, my setup looks like. It basically generates all this mob, you know, funneling it over here, and then you can attack it from the side here, or you can use some range and attack it right here. It's a nice little setup. All right, so let me go ahead and and show you another one, and I'm actually going to to demonstrate how it actually works too. So I'm going to use my YouTube character. Now the reason I'm using my YouTube character is because he's not maxed out yet and it would be a complete waste for me to do it on my main character. So in this version here, I've got the, um, the rail set up and two strips basically for, let me put this down here, two strips for the conveyor belt. And this is all you need. I mean, you probably only need one even, but I, I ended up doing two. And uh, you wanna you wanna do it on uh, in an area or on a, a farm that you know is going to generate slimes. Before I actually had two of these uh, sl uh, ranches slime farm um, set up, and well, I actually had three total. Th two out of the three generated slimes. The other two, the other one strip did not generate any slimes. I mean, it bar I barely got. You know enough um, mobs from that, so you want to at least first test out if you're going to get enough slimes. Once you do get enough slimes, then you can convert it into one of these things. Or if you have an existing slime uh, farm, uh, you can convert it into a, a slime factory like this. Okay, so that's the key thing: is make sure that you, you you're on a tile um, or have a working uh, uh, slime farm before this works. Uh, before converting into one of these one of these little AFK setups. Okay, so here to get the AFK to work you can uh, create a little island like this. Okay, and one trick here to punch across this right here is to use a broken range weapon. Right. So if you select this broken range weapon here you can actually punch across this gap. Right. So normally like if you had if you had this here, right, this is this is regular punching, you wouldn't be able to reach it. Right? You see how like I, I can't reach that? Let me put this helmet on, I'll, I'll take this off. It's the same thing as this, right? So see how like you can't reach this across? But what's interesting is if you select a broken range weapon, you can reach across from a, a full gap. Okay. What's happening here is he's, he's really punching it, but he's using the range, and for some reason this range is giving you a little bit more of a reach to punch. 
Okay. What's really interesting about this specific mob is that it has a certain, I guess, a shield or an armor that makes it so that you, you can't kill it. You won't be able to kill this mob punching it. That's, this is the very key thing here. Okay. And the other trick here is that you want to hit escape, and change your settings, change your controls, scroll down, look for the attack, right? So it used to be the left mouse button right here for attack, right? You can still attack with left mouse button. I just um, I just put placed in spacebar here. The spacebar originally was mapped to the the shield, right? There was like a, a shield option here for the offhand. It was like an offhand. Uh, where is it? Because I switched it. I switched it out to F, right? So spacebar used to be right here. Use offhand. I removed the spacebar here and placed F key for for my offhand, and then I placed spacebar here for the attack for the attack command. All right. So the reason why you want to do that is so now if you've got a if you got a keyboard. What, you know where you can actually put a, a paperweight on it. So, for instance, I actually have like a a heavy can of um, uh, air dust or duster can, or whatever, on my keyboard or on my my desk. I would actually I could just place it on my spacebar like this, right, and totally walk away from my my keyboard. My hands are completely off the keyboard. I can infinitely do this for a long time and level up my melee, right. So the reason why this works is because the purple slime mob has probably an armor, a really high amount of armor or a shield that absorbs a certain amount of damage below like 60 or 70, I believe. So you 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 can punch this AFK and just come back and, and reach like a level 100 easily. All right, so one of the things that you want to make sure is for, for this, you don't want to wear any gear that can cause uh, damage, right? So here this has mining damage, but I don't have points in this. So I won't, this won't affect anything to that sort. On uh, on the melee combat skill talent, you want to reset this. Make sure that you have this right here filled out, right? And then you want to have this filled out, okay? Th these are the only two skills you want to fill out, okay? So here, increase this. Right, and if you have any more points, do not spend it on this. If you've already got this spent, then reset your thing and fill out only these two. Okay, and make sure that you also are not spending points on any of this over here. All right, these two here do not spend any points. Reset your talent because otherwise, this will cause additional damage. Right, so spending maxing this out is okay, but don't spend points on this. Just reset your talent. Okay, so those are the two things that you you want to to do here, adjust this to be these two, because this will allow you to proc and make them attack really fast for a short duration. This actually is amazing, right? This will help you flow faster. So make sure you don't have any of these set, okay? And then make sure you don't have this set. Those, those are the key things that generally um, creates like, you know, uh, problems for, for this leveling. All right, so again, now that I have that, um, you see now how he's like punching really fast? You see that on the on the thing? This that punch punch really fast is actually triggered by this talent here. Alright, you'll see like a short burst and you see it you'll see him like go bam 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 bam, right? Okay, so other things too that will help you for this power leveling is if you can get a um, a melee attack speed ring, right? This ideally you want two of these. And the skull ring comes from the um, Malagos, the corrupted. He's the skull boss. Now, if you don't have two of these, um, you could try to craft a polished swift ring that gives you three percent melee attack speed. Right. So you can get you can try to get two two polished rings if you want, or you can get you can get one of these and one of these. Right. The idea here is that you want to have melee attack speed. Right. Melee attack speed will help you for this fight. So two of these will help ideally, or two of these if you've got it, or or just you know one and one, okay. And then uh, there is no melee attack speed for the necklace. I just threw that in there. 
that's not really important. I mean, you can have this, you can have this if you uh, want. Um, so that's, that's really all. So long as it doesn't affect your attack damage, then you'll be okay. Attack speed is not, not an issue. So now, I can put a paperweight on my spacebar and go completely AFK. And you can just power your way up to 100 using this, this method. The mob will not die. You actually only need one slime for this. But I just had a longer rail just in case, you know, if, it, if, if one of the tiles don't spawn the, the poison slime, you're going to get at least more. Now, if the, if the slimes do build up, I mean, you can always attack. You know, you can always attack it just to get rid of it. Right? That I mean, that helps your... That helps your... Um, that helps your uh, vitality, anyways. Just for a little bit. I mean, I I wouldn't use this for a vitality power level. I mean, it basically gives you like a one or two every now and then. So, as you notice, the mobs definitely do not die while punching. You don't even have to starve yourself for this. FYI. Um, my character, oops, my character is starved down here, and it reduces his um, his damage. But you don't need to starve yourself for this for this fight. Okay, now the reason why I have an island around my character like this is so that I don't I, I'm protecting myself while I'm a AFKing because you know it is possible, potentially possible for some other mob that will come by like a red slime or one of the larva maggots you know they'll come by and they might attack you okay now if you really want to protect yourself you, you might want to put a wall around here right a complete wall around your character like this because you know once in a while like you know you could get like a range guy like the um the sniper uh walking by here for some reason like i had a I had a sniper from the uh, Azus wilderness coming by and, and and shooting me. He must have, I guess, latched on. I uh, must have aggroed him and he started like coming after me for some reason. But for the most part, this is fine. I mean, I actually did an AFK session on this on my live stream where, um, where my character didn't take any damage. Okay, so let me show you another trick. Okay, you could use... Now this is, this is um, post-repair patch. Okay, so that means that that means that you're gonna have to spend tin to repair the slingshots. Before the patch, you you only needed scraps to do repairing. Okay, so in this in this video or in this set part of the video, I uh, filled up my inventory with with some slingshots. Okay, I didn't repair all of this because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know go through all of this right now. Um, but you you want to fill up your entire bag with slingshots if you want to go fully fully AFK right or, or or sorry the number of slingshots you have available will determine how long you can AFK for all right so as a bonus to this trick you can actually use range use this setup to power level your range because these mobs actually don't die at all um, because they probably have like a 60 or 70 armor value or a shield that will absorb 60 or 70 damage. Right. So here, I did now, I did I did lower my my range damage, by the way, by getting my, my health down to zero, or sorry, food down to zero. And, food, and, and in, in this situation, right, you don't actually lose your health beyond the 50%. Right, you you can starve all you want, but you'll never actually lose um, health. So you can't you can't die uh, fully starved. All this does is will lower your your movement speed, which you're you're not you're not moving, so it doesn't matter. It lowers your health by by fifty percent, and it lowers your attack damage. You don't want attack damage, so this will help you reduce your damage on your slingshot. So that way you don't actually kill the mob. But I did test it where it doesn't really matter. Um, I've noticed that it didn't matter. I'm not. I haven't fully tested it, but when I did test it, it actually works when your your food is down to down to zero. All right, so let's let's switch here, and I'll show you. You want to fill up your inventory with slingshots because when this 
this breaks, the next one will will pop in. So let me let me let me show you show you here. So if I if I hold my spacebar, oh let me switch one more thing. You want to switch your necklace now, right? To attack range. So if you can get the skull necklace, use that. It it speeds up your attack uh, attack speed for range. And then the other item that could speed up your attack range will be the Ivy's ring. So if you get two of those, that'll be ideal. If not, you know, just just make sure it's not doing any damage. That's all. So here you can hold your space bar. And let's take a look at the range skills. You want you want increased range speed. Uh, speed. Forgot about that. So make sure again, similar to how the melee is. Just only put one point in here. There's actually no other, no other melee speed increase like the, me the melee version. So, anyways, do that. And now you can hold the space bar or just put a paper weight on the space bar. And see how like the slingshot broke, and it just popped in a new one just popped in its place. So you could AFK this and come back and come back. And then the the character will actually switch over and, and do punching, right? So, so let's say you can you you AFK, and you come back. If the slingshot is broken, it will switch over to doing melee attacks, right? So you're not completely, you know, wasting your AFK time. So if you want to just you know do AFK with your slingshots, you know, power level your range, and then come back, and it'll just switch over to melee. Uh, that's fine too, right? And then just, uh, you know, repair, right? So let me, let me put those back over here. And then uh, just walk over here. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> let me put this away. It's like, I, um, I got a full inventory here. And I accidentally punched my own, um, my own thing. So here, you know, you, you want to, you know, bring a couple of tin bars with you and just repair as, as you need to. And then dig up the, um, the bridge so you don't, uh, you don't, you don't get attacked by any random mobs while you're AFK. Okay, so here I'm going I'm to hold this bar to show you. See how the mobs just never dies? You can totally AFK and the mob will never die. And that's it, really. So you can use this little trick to power level your melee. You can power level your, your range. The only difference here is that you're going to need uh, a bunch of a stack of tins and come back and then repair all of this before going AFK again, right? But if it does, you know, if all of this does break, it just switches over to melee and then you, you won't be completely, you know, um, wasting your, your AFK time because he'll just be leveling his melee up. Alright, so hopefully you guys, um, you know, found this uh, this trick useful. And uh, if you do, uh, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. And uh, I guess check out my next video where I'm going to give you an update on the Hive Mother room for power leveling your vitality. And, uh, and as a bonus, it will also, you can use that to power level your range as well. And I'll, I'll show you how that works in a little bit. All right, I think that's it. That's it. If you've got any other uh, questions or comments, uh, leave them below. All right, talk to you guys later.